Isaiah chapter 27, Daniel, the 27th book of the Bible. In that day, pay attention, the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword. So let's go over to Revelation 19. Revelation 19. Revelation 19, verse 11, I saw heaven open, behold, a white horse, and he that upon it was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. He had a name written that no man knew but he himself. He is clothed in a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. Verse 15, out of his mouth goes a sharp sword to smite the nation. All right, here we go. Here's the second advent. Paul tells us that the Christian armor, that sword is the word of God, and Hebrews tells us it's the word of God, and it's sharp and powerful. Sharp sword which punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, the crooked elephant, and shall slay the hippopotamus as in the sea. He says, well, wait a minute, so wait, I'm quoting to you modern versions. I'm quoting to you scholars. The hippopotamus, I forget what Scopio's got the hippopotamus or the elephant or that. And you, you got preachers. Well, I'm going to make a statement here. Well, that can't be it. That's weird. Great strong sword punishment of Leviathan. Find Job 41, Psalm 74, 104. The piercing serpent, even Leviathan, the crooked serpent, he shall slay the dragon that's in the sea. Revelation chapter 12. And you do know in Revelation chapter 12 that the Bible says that the the beast come out of the sea. You do read that. I, I hope you read your Bible. Actually, let's look at Revelation chapter three, 13 real quick. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise out of the sea. Having seven heads, ten horns. You know where you get that from? That would be Godzilla. Roar, you know, a reptile coming out of the sea. It won't be interesting in, in Tokyo. But re back to Revelation chapter 12, and we'll read the scriptures. And verse 9. And the great dragon, there he is, was cast out, the old serpent, there he is, called the devil and Satan, deceiveth the whole world. I didn't know the devil was a hippopotamus. I didn't know he was an elephant. You gotta get in the Bible, not scholarship. So there's the devil. And the word of God is gonna prevail. <clears throat> in that day, pay attention. Sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. <clears throat> vineyards Israel. Isaiah speaks about the vineyard of Israel. Jesus gives the parable of the vineyard. I, the Lord, do keep it, the vineyard. So after the piercing of the devil, the devil, the dragon, the serpent, Satan, then we have the vineyard, the millennium. I will water it every moment. God, the author of rain. Least any heard it. I will keep it night and day. Hurry is not in me. 
Who would set briars and thorns against me in battle? I would go through them. I would burn them all together. You know, you come up with the thorns and uh, burn them. You read about that fire coming in the second advent? Oh, let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me. He shall make peace with me. The only peace there is is the peace of God. And God says, there is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. He shall cause them that come out of Jacob take root. Millennium. Israel shall blossom and bud. Millennium. And shall fill the face of the world with fruit. God's all finished with Israel. No, he's not. Have he smitten him? Has he smote those that smitten, smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure, when he shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayeth the rough wind in the day of the east wind. It's all about that wind. Wind, cloud, darkness, sun turned to dark, and the moon turned to blood. And that latter, that early and latter rain, it's all tribulation. All second advent. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged. I thought God's all finished with Israel. There's coming a moment in time in the future that God will say the sins of Israel, I remember no more. And in the, in the eternal future will say, Jesus, let me see your hands. What are those marks? Well, they were wounded in the house of my friends. But I don't remember it no more. And those marks in his hands and his feet and his side are going to be eternal. And this all the fruit to take away his sin, Israel's sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones, the only time the place that shows up, false altars, they are beaten asunder. The groves, oh, and the images shall not stand up. You know what that purging is? That purging is from false altars. That purging is from the, the groves are beaten asunder and the images. Oh, no, aids of worship. God says there's coming a day he's going to purge the nation of Israel of all that junk. How can you say it's a religious thing when God says, I'm, that's it, I'm going to get rid of it? How can the Catholic Church say groves are okay when God says, I'm going to purge Israel of it? If it's not good for the Israel, it ain't good for the... Yet the fenced city shall be desolate. Ain't no defense against God. And the habitation forsaken. And left like a wilderness. Unfruitful, unbearing. Un there shall be... There, there shall the calf feed. And there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof, the calf. But not man. A lot of places are going to be made desolate when the Lord comes back. When the boughs thereof are withered, death. They shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire. For is a people of no understanding. Therefore he has made them, he has made them, will not have mercy on them. He that formed them will not show them no favor. This would be the enemies of Israel. God is the creator of all men. And when you're against God, you ain't going to have fruit. You ain't going to be joy. You ain't going to be a populated group. And it shall come to pass in that day, pay attention, that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt, Nile, and he shall gather one by one, O ye children of Israel, and shall come to pass in that day, pay attention, that the great trumpet shall be blown. That's not the rapture. That is not the rapture of the church. I'll show you. First, is it First Thessalonians? I always get first and second messed up. Chapter four. 
What is the special one? Where's the revelation? Uh, uh, First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and a trump. A trumpet. Read your Bible. The church is called with a trunk. I don't mean Donald. Uh, Israel is called with a trumpet. Israel has always been called by a trumpet. There were two trumpets made for the nation of Israel. Not the church. That's the big difference between the church and, the, and, the, and the Israel. Israel has trumpets. The church has a trump. Israel has a temple in a building, not the church. Israel has the law, not the church. There's two differences. Israel is a nation under God, not America, not the church. The church is a group of people, not a nation, under Jesus Christ. Israel will get Jerusalem. The church will get New Jerusalem. Israel is a bride of God. The church is the bride of Jesus Christ. You got to get them separate because they're not the same. You can't run to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John for church age doctrine when that's doctrine for Israel. You got to rightly divide or you'll be made ashamed. Shall be blown. And they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria. Death. And the outcasts of the land of Egypt. And shall worship the Lord in his holy mount in Jerusalem. Millennium. God's going to gather up the nation of Israel. As one people. From all over the world. God will guide them up. Grab them up. And bring them home. 